Hello everyone and welcome back to Wealth Upgrade. Today we're going to be talking about how Ignite employees reveal everything on Dan Bilzerian. Make sure you stay until the end so you don't miss out on the chain of events on how a CEO abused his own company. A pot company? Ignite International, the latest venture from the hard-parting, self-proclaimed king of Instagram, which sells a large range of weed-related products, has burned through $50 million last year. The company also lost $43 million on expenses related to marketing campaigns, as well as office leases, according to its annual filing first reported by Forbes. Dan Bilzerian, aka the king of Instagram, is the CEO and founder of Ignite International Brands, which specializes in electronic cigarettes, cannabis, and several other products. Reports that have surfaced over the last few months indicate that the company is facing major financial issues, and as reported by Forbes, Ignite has lost a stunning $50 million last year. It appears that Ignite taken the grunt of the bill for Bilzerian's gun-toting, private jet-flying Playboy lifestyle, paying him a salary as well as the travel expenses of other companies that he owns. Dismissing such rumors, Bilzerian recently tweeted stating that the example of Uber to draw a parallel and counter bankruptcy rumors about Ignite. Despite his denial, things don't seem to be improving for the former U.S. Navy SEALs trainee turned venture capitalist as Ignite continues its steep fall from grace. The pot company owned by poker player and internet personality Dan Bilzerian could have things going up in smoke as Ignite may be going bankrupt in the next two weeks. Who is Dan Bilzerian? The son of a corporate takeover specialist, Paul Bilzerian and Terry Steffen, Bilzerian was born on December 7, 1980 in Tampa, Florida. He is the brother of fellow poker player Adam Bilzerian and is of Armenian descent through his father. His father was a corporate raider on Wall Street who set up trust funds for both of his sons to live on. Bilzerian claimed to have subsequently enrolled at the University of Florida, where he studied for four years, majoring in business and criminology, but it has not been confirmed if he had graduated from the university. Bilzerian contested in the 2008 World Series of Poker main event, where he finished in 180th place. He was voted one of the funniest poker players on Twitter by Bluff Magazine in 2010. In November of 2011, Bilzerian was one of those sued over debt of honor winnings they had been paid in no contract poker games by Tobey Maguire. Some of the vast expenses, as reported by TMZ, included a Star Wars gun set worth $60,000, a $50,000 bed frame, and a $75,000 paintball field. Besides the fact that these are the dream purchases of a 12-year-old, there is nothing fundamentally wrong with buying these items, unless you made them with the company's credit card. According to Forbes, Ignite managed to lose a staggering $50 million in 2019. Bilzerian also defended Alex Rodriguez publicly later that year against accusations that he had gambled illegally, claiming that he was present when the alleged gambling event had taken place and Rodriguez was not present. In November of 2013, Bilzerian posted an unconfirmed claim that he won $10.8 million from a single night of playing poker. And in 2014, he claimed to have won $50 million throughout the year, adding that he doesn't play against professionals anymore and that the most he's ever lost in a single session is $3.6 million. Bilzerian has also featured on Joe Rogan's podcast on social media platform YouTube, explaining the run-up to his poker career. For example, Bilzerian's Los Angeles house has a monthly rent of $200,000. The house, along with the parties, boats, and models are all charged to Ignite International LTD, a company that Bilzerian helped develop. Ignite The 39-year-old entrepreneur is no stranger to losing money. Page Six reported last month that he had recently lost a book deal with Simon & Schuster because he was too busy partying to deliver a manuscript. As mentioned already, Bilzerian runs the company Ignite International Brands LTD, which sells electronic cigarettes, CBD oils, water bottles, and vodka, among other products. Ignite is a public company headquartered in Toronto, Canada that began trading in January 2019 under the Bills F ticker. The company reportedly lost over $50 million in 2019, mostly on marketing and office rental expenses. A scroll through Bilzerian's Instagram feed would show you that many photos of him with yachts, private jets, playing chess, all while surrounded by stacks of cash, and even posing with a massive gun with the Ignite logo carved into its side. It was reported by Forbes Cannabis Reporter, however, that he has never encountered a product from Ignite in the wild. 
The company has since seen its stock value plummet more than 70% in the following year and a half to 70 cents. Ignite's financial records for Q2 were recently revealed two and a half months after the deadline. However, they were able to release it in a way so that nobody could find it in a hurry. Appallingly, it was not to be found on the company website, which is highly unusual of a private company not releasing its financial records on their own website. They had chosen to store the information in a random website that takes some time to locate. However, we were able to locate this information, which turned up some interesting details. Based on the financials, the company is going to be literally out of cash in two weeks. No balance sheet insolvency, no theoretical accounting insolvency. They will be out of funds in exactly 14 days. The financials state that the company started the year with $15.1 million and ended the second quarter with $5.8 million, meaning that it burned through $9 million within a period of six months. This means that every single month, the company lost a million and a half dollars. As of June 30th, the remaining balance would be $5.8 million. Now that literally means that the company has four months to live and four months on from June 30th is October 30th. Ignite literally had zero growth from last year, and it is ridiculous to note that a company that sells cannabis online during a pandemic has zero growth over one year, and also when people are stuck at home smoking weed. Well, we were informed that Ignite is going to improve, that a lot of the issues in the company were going to be fixed, that expenditure would be less, however it has remained the same. Their gross profit is abysmal and their efficiency is completely down the drain. It is unclear how much shareholders and the holders of debt were aware of until the release of the annual report. But it's fair to declare the company publicly said it was doing one thing, while it, or Dan Bilzerian, who can say, did another. Like any good businessman, it seems Bilzerian sticks someone else with the bill. Bilzerian, who owns at least stake in other companies, headquartered in Montana and Nevada, according to public records, also used Ignite as his personal ATM. Ignite Cash went to pay salaries, licensing fees, business expenses, and travel expenses for companies owned by the CEO, according to the report. Former company president Jim McCormick, a former tobacco executive who pivoted to the cannabis sector after 2016, told an interviewer in May of last year, we would look for cash flow to be positive certainly in 2020, and that we run the company very lean and mean. Spoilers, they didn't. Compare the optimistic statement to the gloomy annual report. Here's a telling passage from the company's directors who declare that in order to keep going, they will need even more of someone else's money and that now is a very bad time to be asking other people for money. The company's board of directors wrote that the company will need to raise capital in order to fund its operations and continue its existing and prospective expansion into strategic markets. This need may be adversely impacted by uncertain capital market conditions, including those created by the COVID-19 pandemic, an inability to secure strategic partnerships in key markets, and an unfavorable perception of the Ignite brand, before warning investors that the whole thing might be ready to implode. Although the company has been successful in the past in obtaining financing, there is no assurance that it will be able to obtain adequate financing in the future or that such financing will be on terms that are acceptable to the company. They continued, the uncertainty of the company's ability to achieve profitable operations and its success as raising additional capital funding may cast significant doubt on the company's ability to continue as a going concern. That same indication, failure is imminent, was also the analysis offered by the accounting firm that reviewed the company's books. At least some of the money Dan Bilzerian will use to keep Ignite afloat is also your money. The company reported receiving just short of $1.2 million in Paycheck Protection Program loans from the Small Business Administration. Ignite intends on applying for a loan forgiveness, the company said. Okay, an enormous marketing machine that didn't really sell anything, a brand that its own directors worry may be toxic, floated by debt and investors. Is that all there is behind Dan Bilzerian's company? Maybe. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of the videos on your screen and we'll see you there.